And doing the organza, now my top is a dark red underneath. So I want to show the color in its lightest saturation because there's an organza over it. So I took my color pencil and lightly shaded and then used the blender to blend it in. So this is going to be black. So I'm going to start with a gray as my first layer. So I'll go over everything with gray. And then I will use actually a color pencil because I don't want it to get too heavy. So I'll take my black color pencil and lightly shade over it, the entire thing. Thinking of the shading areas, so I want to get that black feeling to it, but not heavy. I have some lines here I'm going to indicate for the trim and the pleats. But all the areas in between the body and the garment are going to get darker because the body is going to pull it forward. So those areas are gonna get lighter. So that's my first step then. I'll take my blender marker and blend in to make it more smooth. Take off the old color. So I'm not going too heavy on it, but I am putting a little pressure to blend it, not a lot. So I want it to feel like a sheer garment that is in black. So using it almost like a paintbrush. And again, the darker areas are the parts that are between the body and the garment. So that's how I would show organza, and this is over a dark color, so you see that the color here under the organza, you do not want to have it in the same color as the bottom. It needs to be much lighter to show that there's a fabric over it. And then I would outline this also with a delicate finish. And then again, the lines are a little more crisper than the chiffon because of the drape of the fabric. So that's the organza or organdy.